Hello everyone and welcome back to the DevOps shop. If you're passionate about DevOps like we are, then you're in the right place. Today we're going to dive into an extremely important tool in the DevOps world, Docker. Make sure to hit the subscribe button on the DevNet YouTube channel so you won't miss any future videos. Let's get started. In this video, we first discuss what Docker is and how it's used to manage applications through standalone isolated containers. Then we discuss why Docker is so crucial to DevOps. Next, we highlight a variety of Docker labs, courses, and tutorials to provide you with the technical foundation and Docker necessary in order to dive deeply into Docker today. After that, we demonstrate some cool and simple Docker demos for DevOps to get you started Dockerizing your workflows. Finally, we present you with a variety of GUIs for Docker, as well as some awesome Docker repos at Cisco Code Exchange that will take your Docker skills to the next level. Docker is an open platform for developers to build, ship, and run distributed applications, consisting of Docker Engine, a portable lightweight runtime and packaging tool, and Docker Hub, a cloud service for sharing applications and automating workflows. Docker enables apps to be quickly assembled from components and eliminates the friction between development, QA, and production environments. As a result, IT can ship faster and run the same app unchanged on laptops, data center VMs, or any cloud. Docker automates the deployment, scaling, and management of applications by encapsulating them into containers. But what are containers? Think of them as lightweight, standalone executable packages that include everything needed to run a piece of software. Containers can run on any machine that has Docker installed, reducing the, it works on my machine, headache. A Docker image is created from the instructions in a Docker file with the Docker build command. Then, that image can be run as a self-contained container with the docker run command. DevOps is all about bridging the gap between development and operations. Docker aids this by enabling more efficient application development and faster deployment cycles. Firstly, Docker's containerization aspect allows developers to create predictable environments that are isolated from other applications. This reduces the risk of system conflicts and ensures consistent behavior across different platforms. Secondly, Docker images are lightweight and start fast. This means you can have rapid, repeatable deployments, a key aspect of DevOps. Docker also integrates well with popular CI-CD tools, further increasing deployment speed and ease. Finally, Docker's version control and component reuse features allow DevOps teams to build upon previous work without fear of inconsistencies, enhancing productivity and decreasing time to market. Cisco DevNet has free learning labs focusing on Docker, including Docker 101, where users build, deploy, and optionally share their first Docker container. It helps familiarize learners with Docker components such as images, containers, the Docker file, and processes. For those ready for more, try the Advanced Docker Features Learning Lab. Here, you can learn and practice with networking for containers, Docker Compose, and Docker Swarm. Those two were just individual learning labs. For an entire and free learning track with modules and learning labs focusing on Docker, try the containers learning track in the DevNet Learning Lab Center. This track features some more advanced concepts like automating a Docker file, publishing Docker images, and managing containers with Kubernetes. Cisco U has fantastic learning paths for Docker, including Docker foundations and building advanced Docker skills, both of which require a paid but totally worth it subscription. There are also extremely relevant individual courses surrounding Docker, including these. Get started today at Cisco U with these free and up-to-date tutorials related to Docker. What are you waiting for? Docker runs natively on Linux, so depending on your target distribution, installing Docker can be as easy as typing this. Currently, it isn't yet possible to run Docker natively in Mac OS or Windows as the Docker daemon uses Linux-specific kernel features. I'm on a Mac and I employ Docker Desktop for most of my Docker needs. Docker Desktop can be downloaded for free. It has been a merry tradition for devs to try out apps for the first time by running a Hello World program. Once the Docker engine is running, simply type this command into your terminal. We can see that the image isn't present locally, so the Docker engine pulls the image from Docker Hub and then runs the image as a container supplying output. Okay, if we run the Docker images command, we can see the image pulled from Docker Hub is indeed on our local system. Now, let's move on to something a little more advanced. 
For the second part of our demo, we can create our own Docker image that will consist of just three tiny files and will run as a Flask app inside our Docker container serving a web page. Here is the Docker file, which will be used when we run the Docker build command to build the image to our specifications. The second file we will need and which is referenced in the final line of our Docker file is the app.py. Finally, we have an HTML file we named pong.html that we've created in a directory called static. pong.html is referenced in app.py. Let's build the image. Don't forget the dot at the end of the command to signal to build from the current directory. Then we run the container, built from the image. Because we've mapped the host port 4000 to port 80 in the container, when we visit this URL endpoint, we will be served the HTML from pong.html. We've made a neat little Flask app to detect when we visit an endpoint and serve the web page we've designed. Okay, some of you may be impressed with those graphics, but for most of us, we like our UI to be a little more advanced and user friendly. Well, the good news for us is that there are currently an assortment of graphical user interfaces for Docker, including Docker Desktop, Portainer, DockStation, Shipyard, and Rancher. I've also put together this knowledge base article in the DevOps group hub on the Cisco community where I provide details about each GUI along with links to learn more. After completing the Docker Learning Labs that DevNet highlighted earlier, you can get started now using Docker projects found on Code Exchange. With Cisco Code Exchange, we can discover, learn, build, and collaborate on curated GitHub projects to jumpstart our work with Cisco platforms, products, APIs, and SDKs. Check out this knowledge base article in the DevOps Group Hub in the Cisco community to discover Docker Center repos on the Code Exchange for you to use for free. We've highlighted many different Docker projects, labs, and tools in this video, and there is one repo I found which is one of the most diverse and comprehensive collections of Docker resources out there, Awesome Docker. Awesome Docker is simply a vast GitHub repo containing a plethora of Docker resources. It includes a great where to start, as well as projects, useful resources, and communities and meetup sections, among others. In this video, we've explored Docker, which is a critical tool in DevOps because it promotes efficient application development and faster deployment. We've also demonstrated some simple Docker demos and showcased various Docker labs, courses, tutorials, and other resources, such as Docker GUIs and repos on Cisco Code Exchange that provide a robust foundation for Docker use. Thank you for watching Docker for DevOps. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your friends or colleagues who are interested in DevOps. Until next time, you can find us in the DevOps Group Hub. We're in the Developer Hub in the Cisco community.